Hello everybody, this is a tutorial for 3.1.2a pick and place routine. So what we're going to be doing first is we're going to open up cell setup, make a new file, and we're going to add a robot with no slide base as the instructions give us. And then we're going to add a table that is 1000 by 1000 you would place it anywhere and then we're going to add a cube that's 40 by 40 by 40 now it says it gives us a specific position of 400 by 0 so we're going to double click on the cube and press position and you can change the position so you make it 400 to 0 and what I like doing is making everything else zero zero just so everything could be perfect. Because supposedly when you don't have any coordinates for anything, they basically just want you to put it at origin. Okay, so basically after we do that, we're going to save the file and open up a robo cell. So I'll see you guys on robo cell. All right, so after we open up robo cell, we're going to create new, created a new file. You're going to go to file and import 3D model going to import our model and I'm going to change this to simulation and teach this because it's a lot easier for me to see and so we're going to now move this so I can just get a better view of it all right so now that I have a better view on the image which I was able to do by using the scroll wheel and holding right click by zooming in and out as well as this command up here you can press this and you know move the camera around but I got mine in a pretty good spot, so I'm going to save it. Okay, so what you're going to do first is you want to get your home position. So I named my home position always 99. And then we're going to press record. That's our home position. So what's next is we're going to open the gripper. And after opening the gripper, we're going to send our robot to the object. And close the gripper. Then we're going to name this position number one. And we're going to make sure we record it so that we make sure that the robot's able to go there the next time. So it asks for us to pick up the cube, lift it straight up in the air for a short distance, move the arm straight back towards the base a short distance, and then place the cube back on the table. So it's going to go down, grab it, go up, back, down, and place it. So. We're going to go ahead and reset the work cell. Now, everything is back to default, but we still have our recordings. So we're going to first start this code by making sure the gripper is open. And we're going to send the robot to position 1. We're going to do this at 50 speed. So now it's going to go to position 1 at speed 50 with the gripper open. And then it's going to close gripper, and then it's going to go back to position 99, which is our home. And then after getting to home, it's going to go back to position 1. And then it's going to open the gripper. Now, that should be it. So now we'll run the code by pressing this button up here, this one. And that's for 3.1.2a. Now we're going to go on to 3.1.2b, which is a bunch of different positions. All right. Now for the next part, we're going to have 99 the same and position 1 the same. Both the positions don't need to change. But there's a new position, and that's position 11. Position 11 is directly on the top of position one. So we're going to send robot above point of this 
and then we're going to record this as position number 11. Next, we need position number 12. And position 12 is a little bit behind 11. So let's go ahead and move. Let's go ahead and move it back a little bit. That's good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. So that is going to be position 12. I'm going to go ahead and record it. And then what we're going to do is, now that we have all of the positions, except for number two, we're going to run this and get two after we drop the uh, cube onto the table. So we're going to go ahead and make sure our gripper will be open by pressing it on the code. It's going to open gripper. And we always want to make sure it's at 99. So you always, whenever it resets, you just want to make sure it's at 99, you know? So then it's going to go to a position 11, fast. And then it's going to go to position 1 at 50 speed. Because when it goes down for the cube, you don't want it to go through the table. You know what I'm saying? So then it's going to go to position 11. This could be either fast or 50 speed. It's totally up to you. Then... It looks like it goes to position 12. And then it goes, it's going to go to position 2. But we don't have 2 yet. So the way that I get 2 is I let it run through the code. Oops. Oops. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have a gripper open. And then it's going to go to position 99. You always want to make sure it's at position 99 at the beginning. And then it's going to go to position 11. Fast. It doesn't matter. You can do it however fast you want, as long as it works. Then we're going to go to position 1. I'm going to go slow here. And then we're going to make sure we close the gripper. And then we're going to go back to 11. And then we're going to go to position 12. Now we don't have position 2 yet. And the way that we're going to get position 2 is by running this. Now here... You would open the gripper, it's going to drop the cube, and then you're going to send the robot to the cube, and that is position 2. And so now, it wants us to go to 12 fast, and then it wants us to go to position 2. So we're going to go to position 2, and then it's going to open the gripper, go back to position 12, and then back to position 99. So now let's go ahead and reset our work cell. And let's run the code. So it goes down, it grabs it, goes back, goes over, back down, opens, and goes all the way back up. So when you're going to submit your work, though, you're going to make sure you have your robot path on because without robot path people won't know how the robot moved or where it went so we're going to go ahead and run it one more time so as you can see it gives us a little path of where the robot went and how it did the code Okay, and last but not least, we want to make sure we have our program set up correctly. So in RoboCell, under the Options menu, you're going to make sure you have Pro selected. And then you want to make sure you know how to add remarks. So remarks 
are they're sort of like comments in Python coding. So to add a remark, you're going to press RE on your keyboard. And that's going to bring this up. You're going to type in activity 3.1.2a, pick and place. And then you're going to do another remark, putting your name. And then you're going to do another remark, putting your period number. And then you're going to do another remark, putting the date that you did it. So in, in my in my occasion, it's February 6th. So 2-6-22. And as you can see, we just put all of the remarks that we need. So now in the manual movement selection, which is down here, right? This is the manual movement. You want to make sure you switch from joint to XYZ. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So what you're going to do after you finish is you're going to save this file as your last name underscore A312A. And then you're going to save it. And that's it for 3.1.2a pick and place routine.